A handful of small businesses are now picking up the pieces and trying to move forward after a weekend burglary spree. Investigators tell us they believe the same person is behind this rash of break-ins. News Force Austin Brissett took our mobile newsroom to Jones for this story. One of the three businesses burglarized here in Jones over the weekend is Mimi's Kitchen. They have temporary fixes in place as of right now, like you see on this door here behind me. But that's not before massive damage was done and money taken. Um, all the customers were kind of freaked out, and um, I know the other waitress came in, the glass shattered everywhere. Devastating damage left behind at Mimi's Kitchen after a late night burglary last weekend. It just kind of scared us a little bit. Investigators tell News 4 it was around 1 o'clock Sunday morning when a man parked across the street before walking over to this strip mall. From there, he grabbed a brick, smashed the glass on the front door of the restaurant, and eventually did more damage. The vending machine glass shattered everywhere, all the money taken out of that, and, you know, the cash register on the floor. The owner told us off camera that it will cost into the thousands to fix the glass, and that's not counting the well over 800 bucks in cash that was stolen. I just know there was quite a few 20s in there. We had a cash box that was found across the street. After that, investigators say the man went out the back door and walked down the street, hitting a local donut shop and pizza restaurant. The donut shop owner spoke with us off camera, saying she suffered hundreds of dollars in damage as well, with smashed counters and drive through window. Now everyone just hoping this person gets caught before anything else is done. Just have a lot of regulars that are on the look, you know, watching us, watching our back too. And Jones, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. Jones police tell us they don't have a very good description of this suspect right now, so they're asking anyone with information about these break-ins to come forward.